Okay guys, in this video I want to configure, verifying and troubleshooting HSRP. This is the diagram I will use. As you see the diagram we have two routers that connected to internet and also router 1 and router 2 connected to LAN side. All computers in the organization have access through internet in redundancy. One link via router 1 and one link via router 2. We will configure router 1 as active router and router 2 as standby router. As we discussed about HSRP concepts in the previous video, if you don't know about HSRP concepts, I recommend that you should watch my previous video first. Okay, as you see the router 1 and router 2 interfaces, in router 1 interface faster than it 1 slash 0 IP addresses 192.168.1.1 and router 2 interface faster than it 1 slash 0 IP addresses 192.168.1.2 which are the same subnet and also we will configure the virtual IP address 192.168.1.254 in both router router 1 and router 2 as you see the host or end devices assigned the same subnet IP address and the default gateway IP address is the virtual IP address. Let's look at how to configure the topology. In router 1, in global config mode type interface fast Ethernet 1 slash 0, IP address 192.168.1.1 and also the subnet mask 255.255.255.0 HSRP requires only one camin on both routers in interface mode type e standby group number which is 0 to 255 number IP Assign the virtual IP 192.168.1.254. Now, HSRP is enabled in router 1. And also, standby group number priority. By default, the priority is 100. And we change it, for example, 200. Unless the priority coming is used, the first router configured becomes the HSRP active router. For example, router 1 is configured first. It includes a priority configuration to make sure that router 1 is always the active router. To make sure that router 1 resumes the active router role after losing connectivity, the standby preempt command is configured. In interface mode type e standby group number preempt. Let's do the configuration.
For troubleshooting HSRP issues, first the active router that controls the virtual IP address for the group was not successfully elected. Check the active router, for example type show standby and also show standby brief. The HSRP routers are not connected to the same network segment. Routers must be the same network. And also the HSRP routers are not configured with the same virtual IP version for address. Check the virtual IP address. Also type in enable mode show standby or show standby brief. The HSRP routers are not configured with the same HSRP group number. Check the HSRP group number. And also end devices are not configured with the correct default gateway address. Check the computer's default gateway. Show IP. Check the IP address and the default gateway. That's all for you. Thank you for watching this video. If you like this video, please subscribe my channel.